Loving animals is not a sign someone is a good person. Some people love animals because they are obedient and easy to please, unlike humans. Some people deeply resent the emotional needs of other humans and prefer animals because animals are easy to please. They give blind obedience to those who feed and love them, which is highly appealing to some people with abusive personalities. The people I'm talking about like that they don't have to listen to an animal's point of view or take their criticisms. With animals, they don't have to be held responsible for their words or actions. I know people who have dated extremely abusive partners and were shocked they turned out that way because the abuser was so kind to their dog. Loving an animal and being kind to an animal does not reveal how a person will treat another human being. Obviously most people who love animals are in fact good people, however, they are not good because they love their pets. Loving animals should not be considered a green flag when dating. It's in fact, a neutral flag that at best shows a person isn't a complete sociopath. Hitler loved dogs and even supposedly made laws to punish cruelty towards them. Yeah, there is no correlation between loving anything and being a good person. Actions are what define us. My brother-in-law is absolutely obsessed with dogs. He loves dogs. He's had them his whole life, he trains them and walks them and everything. In his neighborhood people let their dogs stay with him when they go away because he's so friendly and sweet with them. He also loves using the N-word, being a douchebag bro starting fights, abusing his wife, and feeding his young children alcohol when they won't be quiet. I am severely allergic to dogs, and when I stay away from them people act like I'm a monster just because I don't love them. It gets really annoying when my co-workers bring their pets to work and get offended because I don't want them near me. IMO There really are no green flags when dating or meeting someone. There are red flags and yellow flags. But unfortunately, there is always a high degree of risk involved when adding a new person to your life. I think the wording is wrong, those people you describe don't love animals, they like animals, and that's the case for a lot of self-proclaimed animal lovers, but yes it's truth there's a lot of people who likes animals and are horrible to other people, and there's a lot of people who don't like animals and are way better people than the first group. They give blind obedience to those who feed and love them. LMAO. Tell that to my significant other's cat. The little bastard absolutely adores me I'm his human. I've done nothing special to attain this status. I'm not the one that feeds him the most, I don't give him more treats than normal, and I don't give him extra attention affection. He just chose to love me more than my SO. And it goes the other way too. Disliking animals isn't a sign someone is a bad person. Lots of people are allergic, or have sensory issues, or just don't like the unpredictability. As someone who works in an animal shelter, I can promise you my experience with adopters and pet owners has done nothing but produce red flags. I've known plenty of people who loved and were nice to animals who are pretty ugly to human beings. I have to admit I'm creeped out by people when discussing movies or books that are fine with men women children being murdered, but if a dog dies I can't read this. I'm a mental health drug and alcohol counselor, everyone loves animals or has a healthy respect for animals even if they don't seek them out, it's normal to like animals for the reasons you listed, what isn't normal is when people say they like animals more than people. It means they cut people out due to trauma, rejection etc. One of the best people I know, who would sacrifice everything she has if it meant someone else would be better off, doesn't like animals. She doesn't care to have them around her. She won't ever hurt an animal, she just doesn't want them on her or to ever own a pet. On the contrary, killing or abusing animals as a kid is a warning sign of someone who may become murderous in the future. Hard agree. My Oma was the biggest narcissist also extremely abusive I ever had the displeasure of knowing, literally ruined her whole family. But my god did she have a soft spot for animals. Especially dogs. Takes one to know one. True, but the opposite works. Someone who is a jerk to animals is usually a bad person. Do people really think that, if they do they are objectively wrong? The two have nothing to do with each other.
there is not a single sign that someone is a good person. You need several different signs for that. Living animals can be one of them. Upvot because unpopular opinion, people conflate the two all the time at least where I'm at. Some of the shittiest people I've met were dog lover crazy cat person etc. Animal worship above human needs is just one of the many ways the West is broken. All the hipster trash in my city with loud barking dogs at all hours with zero heart for all the stressed out shift workers that need sleep. And of course we have awful building laws, because apartments are about ROI. Not housing. I don't particularly care about domestic pets. I understand they help people with loneliness and do specific jobs I can agree some are adorable but I don't like the smell, the responsibility or cost. That's also why I don't have children. I'm better suited alone. How they treat service workers is a better indication though not foolproof. Loving animals is more of a sign of ability to give love and affection. However you can have the ability to love and still be considered a bad person. It's your actions that make you who you are. If you have a rabbit and can't help but touch pet them and spoil them is that a green flag? I think I just get diagnosed on a Reddit post because I definitely deeply resent the emotional needs of other humans and definitely prefer animals. Can confirm. Love animals, also vegetarian. I'm an asshole. Agreed. Often these people still eat animals. Hitler was a dog lover. That should tell you enough. I've been estranged from my mother for 15 years, and recently my maternal grandmother asked me to reconnect with her. She has a big heart, she is so good to her pets bro, she abandoned her 9-year-old and 13-year-old. She does not have a big heart. And she neglects her pets too. Just like hating animals doesn't mean you're bad. Hating animals is not a sign that someone is a bad person is the real, implied, unpopular opinion. I like my dogs more than people. I think a person loving animals is a sign someone is a good person and it is a green flag, precisely because the opposite behavior send the opposite signals. A person who doesn't love animals and who doesn't treat them well is absolutely a red flag and a sign that the person is not a good person. A green flag isn't an automatic pass that someone is a good person, just like a red flag isn't an automatic indicator that someone is a bad person. They are just hints one way or the other, not absolutes. This is one of those things that seems ironic at first glance but when you think about it deeper it really isn't. Often people who find human relationships to be disappointing find solace and some unmet emotional needs in nature and or animals. Obviously nature and animals can't compensate for human relationships but there are some emotional needs that can be met to some extent through these things. Not by any means are most people who love nature and or animals misanthropes, but it certainly can be a magnet for people with those tendencies. True. Hitler had dogs. Yeah, it's true that people who love animals aren't necessarily good people. Some people like animals because animals don't have a choice, humans can walk away from the craziness. On a different note, can we normalize not loving animals? Like, I'm a vegetarian and even I don't love animals. I respect them off but I don't adore them like some people do. They are gross unpredictable little shits. Can confirm. I'm vegan and also a piece of shit. I think it's more the treatment of animals. It at least shows the character of that person rather than a sign if that person is good or bad. Humans are animals. Sure but hating animals is definitely a sign they are a bad person. Loving an animal is also easier than loving a person too. Based and highly subjective. Hitler was an animal lover, vegetarian, non-smoking, non-drinker. LOL learned this the hard way with my most recent ex. I've used how people treat animals as a gauge for so many years doesn't apply to her, shit person, loves animals.